Welcome back to my workshop. Now today I've accepted a challenge. Now the challenge is this one. I wrote it down so I didn't forget. It's Tea Light Challenge 2021. Now this challenge has been set by Claire from Making It Out of the Woods. Uh, and uh, she does some excellent wood turning and fantastic projects. Uh, but I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, now the challenge is, uh, let's check the rules. So back to the maker challenge. It's super simple. I'm simply challenging you all to make a tea light. There's only really one stipulation and that is that whatever design you come up with, it has to house at least one tea light. The tea light can be a faux flame, real flame, just be careful. It doesn't really matter what, it's up to you. The challenge will carry the hashtag tea light challenge 2021. Okay, so that's the rules. Uh, right, let's get going. Haven't done any wood turning for absolutely ages. Uh, I've got a tea light. I've only got one, so I can't muck it up. Uh, I've got a tea light. I've got a lump of old fence post, which has got a massive split down the side, so it's probably not going to be any good. Uh, and I've got a bag of this stuff. Highly flammable, so let's see what we can do. Okay, first problem I've got is I haven't done any wood turning for ages. My lathe is under here somewhere, so I'm going to have to dig this out uh, and then see if I can remember how to turn stuff. Right, so I can now get to my lathe. Uh, right, let's chop up some wood. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to make. I've got a rough idea. Uh, as I say, this piece of wood has got a massive go crack down it. It doesn't appear to go across here, so it might be right. Let me chop a lump of this out, chop off some bits to get it sort of roundish, uh, and then we'll try and get it on the lathe. Right, from what I can remember, the first thing I've got to do is make this thing round. Uh, let's do that. Now I remember why I don't do a lot of wood turning. Look at a mess. I've only been doing it five minutes. Right, let's have a look at this piece of wood. Looks like this is a nice cheap piece of wood. I have no idea what it is, but it stinks. And we've got this nasty crack here. Now, hopefully, I'm going to be able to get rid of that. Uh, if not, we'll just have to live with it. Uh, right, let me take this a little bit smoother, uh, and then we'll start shaping it.
Right, so, so far uh, I've managed to make these two bits. Um, yeah, that's good. Uh, right, what I've got to do now is make some little circles. Uh, I'm not very really good at making balls. Um, I'm going to use this little bit of hardwood. The other wood is not very good. It's a bit... Bleh. Um, right, I'm going to use this bit of hardwood and try and turn myself some circles. Right, I've managed to turn me three little balls here. Uh, they're definitely not the roundest balls you've ever seen, uh, but I did just drop one on the floor and it rolled so far behind all my toolboxes. So they must be fairly round. Uh, right, next I've got to turn something for the candle to actually sit in. Now I've got here the lid off of an old coffee jar. Now I think this is bamboo uh, and I've got to somehow turn this down a little bit. Uh, I think I've got to use this plate, but how I get this on here without it going uh, is a mystery. All right, let me sort that out, see if I can make that work. Well, that turned out better than expected. Uh, so the bamboo lid from the coffee jar, uh, I've now turned it down into this thing. Okay, so what happens is the candle sits in there, uh, but when it's not being used, one of my little tokens sits in there. Yeah, so that goes like that, and then that goes like that. It'll all become apparent. Right, horns. How to make some horns. Right, this uh, little piece of probably whatever it is, pine, uh, looks like a, a likely candidate for uh, some horns. Uh, what I'll do is, because I want them both the same size, I'll draw around one, cut it out, and then I'll copy it onto the other one. Right, so about there. Yeah, that'll do. Right, let's cut these out on the bandsaw. <laughs> Right, uh, this may actually be thick enough for uh, both of them, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down the middle. Right, so I've made a little pair of horns here like this. Uh, I've just used a little craft knife to, to cut the end here. Basically going to drill a hole, put these in and glue them in. Now they're symmetrical. What I need now is a piece of dowel and I have a flag here, a very good flag, uh, but it's got a piece of dowel and what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop a piece of this off and use that. 
Right, for this next step, uh, what I've got to do is I've got to drill a hole in one of my balls for this rod to go all the way through. Then I've got to drill another hole at right angles to that. See if I can get this to work properly. My drill's blunt. Let's try again with a sharp drill. Ta -da! You'll see what that's about in a minute. Right, this is the point where it could go horribly wrong. Uh, I've got to drill loads of holes in these uh, and hopefully get them at the right angle. So, let's get going. Right, so I think that's most of the woodwork done. I haven't given it a coat of anything yet. Uh, I will probably give it a wax. Uh, I've drilled my holes. Some of them are okay. Uh, some of them, not so good. Okay, so the question is, what is it all about? All right, let me show you how it all goes together. Now what we've got is we've got a base, then we've got a stick, which fits in the base. Then we've got our ball with a hole over the side. This goes on here. Then we've got a little stud that goes in here. We've got one that goes in here. And we've got one that goes in here. Oh, okay. Then this one fits in this one. That slides down. Huh. Okay. Then this one goes on here. Then this one goes on here. Oh, what have we got? Then that goes on there because it's a hat. This goes in here, a bit loose at the moment, but that'll be stuck. They'll be stuck in there. Okay, and this can be a shield like that, or it can be taken off and put on here, and you can put a candle on it. Okay. Right, so we've still got some more to do. Um, got to stick it all together and then we've got this silly little beard thing we've got to put on. So, let me start sticking this together. Okay, so to uh, stick this together, I'm going to cheat a little bit. Uh, I'm going to use some, some of this stuff, which is Starbond. Okay, and it comes as the, uh, the actual adhesive CA glue uh, with an accelerator. I'm going to use this because it's a lot quicker. Um, let's just hope I do it right. So all I'm going to do is literally Teeny tiny dab of glue, bit of accelerator.
Okay, so that's this little fella finished. Uh, we've got our little Viking type of thing. Uh, and to convert it to a tea light holder, you take off his hat, because that's where his tea light is. You take off his shield, because that's got my badge in it. You take off this nobble and put it back on his hand. Then this fella goes on here. The tea light goes on here. And then this goes back on here. Okay. So, that's him ready to be lit. Don't know about the beard though. Probably a bit of a health and safety risk. Right, that's it. The uh, tea light challenge is now complete. I have myself a little Viking. Um, and to convert it into a tea light holder, hats off, nobble off, shield off, shield on here, candle on here, put his hand back, and then put his hat back on. Okay, so that's ready to go. I mean, the beard's a bit flammable, but you know, that'll be fine. Right, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Right, so that's this little fella finished. Uh, we've got a little shield here. Oh, fuck it. Don't drop it. That didn't go well. Toodaloo.